the TSA is no longer enforcing the mask mandate at airports now, now that a federal judge has struck it down. And that means masks are coming off as COVID cases tick up again and the busy travel season takes off. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf live at LAX with the impact and reaction. Chris. Absolutely. This is big news, no doubt about it. Toss out those masks, people. Well, actually, keep them in your pocket. That's probably the best idea right now. A federal judge has struck down the mask mandate for planes and other public transportation. The Biden administration says the TSA will no longer enforce the rule. So take a look at this scene out of Atlanta. On our Delta hub, it says masks now optional for employees, customers, following White House. <laughs> Resounding cheers from passengers on a Delta flight as they take it off. A federal judge in Florida struck down the federal mask requirement on airplanes, trains, buses, and other public transportation today, less than one week after the Centers for Disease Control had extended it through May 3rd. Judge Catherine Kimball Mizell, an appointee of former President Donald Trump, eliminated the mandate, which also had applied to airports, train stations, and other transportation hubs across the U.S. She took the action on several grounds, including ruling that the CDC had exceeded its legal authority. The Biden administration, according to one official, is still reviewing the decision and determining whether to appeal it, but for the time being will not challenge it. And again, the Transportation Security Administration will not enforce it. United Airlines, for example, says, quote, effective immediately, masks are no longer required at United on domestic flights, select international flights, or at U.S. airports. So what do passengers flocking to LAX think? I think it's about time, but, you know, I think it was, you know, well thought out the whole time, and uh, now it feels safe to do it and take them off, so I'm all for it. The possibility to have to receive the COVID, it's pretty low, I think. Yes. Are you excited about this happening in the U.S. now? Yes, I think it's a good, good, good direction. It's a pleasant surprise now. I mean, you haven't had to wear a mask in Belgium? No, except for uh, hospitals and doctors and public transports. But for the rest, supermarkets and everything, no masks. And now no more on public transportation in the United States. That's great. <laughs> it's better than Belgium. We should note the CDC still recommends that people continue to wear masks in enclosed public transportation settings. And I just spoke with an LAX spokesperson who says the airport will follow all current federal directives and will not enforce masking.